pregnancy is impossible during menopause. There is only one solution for menopause that doctors provide. HRT. And once you start it, you can never stop. What do you really believe about menopause? Hi there, I'm Dr. Sylvia, an NHS consultant in general practice. Welcome to Ask Your Way Health. Talking to people as well as my patients, I come across a few myths about menopause, which often limit people's behavior and choices when it comes to dealing with menopause. So I thought it would be fun and maybe even educational to look at a few of these ideas or beliefs and bust them together. Let me know if you've heard of or even believed any of the ones I'm going to be talking about in this video. And and if there's some other ideas that you've heard and you think they need some examination, please drop them down in the comment section so that we can look at them together. So let's get started. First, all women behave the same way when they reach menopause. This idea is often held by people who have no experience about menopause. Yes, you know who I'm talking about. But among those who experience menopause of all groups, ages and backgrounds, there's also a belief that menopause affects women the same way. This is far from the truth. So you've reached menopause when you no longer have regular menstrual periods. And by the time you've not had a menstrual period for 12 consecutive months, we can say that you're menopausal. But just as we have various different experiences with our menstrual cycle. For example, some of us suffer very heavy periods and cramps, even in the absence of any structural abnormality like fibroids, while others have very simple and light periods. Some of us experience extreme vomiting when we're pregnant. Some of us don't. So while women could potentially have one or several menopause symptoms, many do not even have any symptoms of menopause. And so our experiences can be quite different across the board when it comes to experiencing menopause. Next, menopause is a mental problem because a woman is affected by her inability to have children. So this next belief tries to turn menopause into an effect of a change in your life circumstances. People holding this belief think a woman has a mental problem like depression or anxiety because She's reached a stage in life where she's no longer having children and she feels sad about it, but she can't get over it. And that's why she's menopausal. But that's totally false. Menopause is a direct result of the change in hormone balance where your body is no longer producing hormones like estrogen as it was doing before. A lot of changes can begin to happen inside your body. They can include both physical and mental symptoms. For example, night sweats and hot flushes, having trouble concentrating, brain fog or anxiety. But it's not a mind thing that you can switch on or switch off or a failure to accept a new circumstance or get over a bad situation. It's a very clear and demonstrable physiological change outside your control and one that you, we have to learn to deal with. So yes, we can experience anxiety, low mood, trouble concentrating during the menopause, but they are a result of the changes in the body due to the hormone levels, not because we don't accept that we can no longer have children. Menopause is a thing of old people. For example, your elderly auntie, and it only ever begins as a woman hits her late 40s and 50s. First, before we tackle that one, did you know that there is a slight ethnic variation in the ages at which women reach the menopause? Yeah, some studies suggested that black women tend to reach the age of menopause earlier than their white counterparts. The reasons for this are not very clear. But back to the idea that menopause only happens to very old people. Natural menopause can happen in women in their late 30s or very early 40s. Ever heard of premature menopause? This is when a woman begins to experience menopausal symptoms before the age of 45. So yes, getting hot flushes, night sweats or other menopausal symptoms like vaginal dryness or painful sex before 
the age of 45. Now, there could be some causes when premature menopause happens, like from cancer or from some autoimmune condition, but it could also develop naturally for reasons that we don't know. Now, related to this as well is the feeling that a woman just wakes up one day and lo and behold, she's menopausal. No, that's another myth. Menopause does not happen overnight. Menopause is a gradual process that can take several years, marked with a lot of hormone changes and symptoms as you go along. Some women may experience it a little earlier and some a little later. Many times it's natural and just represents the variation we have in the human race. Pregnancy is impossible during menopause. The next myth that needs busting is that a woman cannot at all fall pregnant after she has reached menopause. So let me start by saying that just as there is no accurate way to say when you are ovulating, yes, you may be able to estimate the date from your app, or if you've got a very regular cycle, you may be able to count around the time when you are ovulating. But the only accurate measurements will happen in a strictly controlled environment like a laboratory. In the same way, being able to say that somebody is menopausal is strictly an estimate. So remember I said, we will consider that you're menopausal when you've not had a menstrual period for 12 consecutive months. Some people even do blood tests, but the thing about those blood tests is for a very long time, they can fluctuate. They can be high one month and low the next month until eventually they come to a low level. So there could be a period of time when even the blood tests don't really help. So even though we say that you are probably menopausal by the time you've not seen a period after 12 consecutive months, if you're sexually active, you are advised to continue using a birth control method because you may still not have completely entered menopause. That is, you may still be ovulating, but in an irregular way. Many a menopausal lady has been caught out. So there's plenty of evidence for this. The NHS recommends that you stop your birth control method after the age of 55 years because it's thought that the chance of a natural pregnancy at this age is very low. No, a woman cannot or should not have sex after menopause. This is another one of interest. I honestly don't know how it came about. But if you do, please let me know in the comments section. So here, someone feels that because you're no longer ovulating, you should no longer or can no longer have sex. Mm, accept it. Now, it is true that as some women enter menopause, they could experience symptoms that limit their wish to have sex. For example, having a low sex drive, vaginal dryness or vulval dryness or thinning, which can lead to painful sex, frequent irritation to the genital area because of the effect of the low estrogen. All of this is quite uncomfortable. So it already puts a woman off the idea of wanting to have sex, but they've been caused by these hormone changes that we've been talking about. And they are treatable. So please check out my video here where I talk about treatments for painful sex after the menopause. And I discuss some ideas about how to handle problems like vulva, dryness, and irritation. And so for us, menopause does not mean the end of that rich sexual well-being that everyone should enjoy. We should encourage women around the menopause to have active, safe, sexualized if they want to. There are treatments available for many of the problems that could arise. This next one, there is only one solution for menopause that doctors provide, HRT. And once you start it, you can never stop. So, so this is believing that there is only one menopause solution. When you go to see your doctor and complain about menopause, they're going to stick you on HRT and that's it. You're done forever. <laughs> Well, this is untrue, despite how often you hear it on the internet. We doctors do believe in holistic care that involves your entire body, physically, mentally, your preferred choice for treatment as the best way to deal with menopause. For many women, this can include HRT in one form or another. But modern medicine also believes and encourages lifestyle changes, for example, regular exercise and weightlifting, dietary adjustments that will support good metabolism and maintaining a healthy weight, and alternative therapies that can be used to deal with menopause symptoms. Because think about it, 
HRT may not be suitable for everyone because of possible side effects or complications. We know that. So we do agree that other measures can provide some relief. But if your doctor is encouraging HRT, there is scientific evidence that indicates that, especially for symptoms like hot flushes and night sweats, HRT is the most effective that we have presently. So when you're HRT, do you stay on it forever and ever and ever? No. The duration for which you have to stay on HRT depends. It varies from one person to another. Eventually, a lot of these symptoms like the night sweats and the hot flushes will settle down and women with those symptoms who needed HRT no longer need to use them. So it's recommended that you have in regular reviews with your doctor and a conversation about when you can come off your HRT in addition to all the regular checks you should have to screen against any complications. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at a few menopause myths and maybe even found it educational. Let me know in the comment section and if you've heard of any dodgy ones or just strange ideas around menopause or menopause treatments, please, I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, hop over to this video next and I'll see you over there.